In this video, I'll walk you through how to fix the problem with the all-in-one WP Migration plugin getting stuck during website migrations. To get started, it's important that I point out that Website 1 is the website from which we've exported and downloaded the backup files, and Website 2 the destination site we wish to migrate to. To resolve this problem, first, let's understand how the plugin works. Whenever we use this plugin to export a site as a file, it bundles the site's database, media files, plugins, and themes into one single file, which is then stored as a backup to be restored or downloaded. But where exactly is this file stored, and how can we make it so that the plugin recognizes this same file when it's transferred to another site? This is exactly what I'll be showing you how to do. To make this work, we need to upload the backup file to Website 2 in a folder called AI1WM Backups. To upload this file, we need access to our site's file manager, either through our hosting accounts file manager, a file manager plugin, or via FTP. These are my recommendations for file uploads, taking into consideration the file size. For this video, I'll be uploading the backup file via my hosting accounts file manager. In case you don't know where this is, ask your hosting customer care for support, or better still, use a file manager plugin. Once you are in the website's file manager, I'll need you to follow this path to navigate and find the folder A1BM Backups. Let's start by opening public HTML, then open WP Content to locate the folder. Note that if you have yet to install the migration plugin, you probably won't see this folder. So, I recommend you head back to your website to install the plugin before refreshing this page. Now let's open the folder to upload the backup file. Search for the upload icon, select the file, and give it some time to finish the process. Once that has been uploaded successfully, we can head back to our site's backend to select backups. There, we should find the file we just uploaded. Now, the problem we are faced with is trying to use the restore function, which is now a paid feature. To bypass this restriction, we'd need to install an earlier version of this plugin that once allowed us to use the restore feature. I'll be leaving a link to that version in the description, which needs to be installed manually. Now let's head to backups and try that again. Proceed to confirm your request and just give it a couple of minutes to finish the process and that's it. To those who have backup files exceeding the maximum upload file size of 512 megabytes, here's a quick guide to increasing this value. Head to tools and select plugin file editor. Make sure to have the migration plugin selected. Then head down to select constants.thp. Within the editor, you can either scroll down to line 284, or you could use Control F or Command F on your keyboard to bring up the search field. Then search for max file size. When on this line, change the value from 28 to any higher value. For example, I could go with 40 and update the file. Now when I head back to refresh this page, we should find the value increased to two terabytes. Let me know if this worked for you in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.